um, Mr. Freshwater, if you want to speak, and you all have three minutes. Good evening. Currently, I am having undergone a hearing based upon a resolution by this board to consider termination by my teaching contract. I thought the hearing was about to end sometime last month, but the proceeding changed again because somebody sent an anonymous letter containing some photographs of some items from my classroom. Last week, another anonymous delivery was made that contained approximately 300 photographs of items that were in my room. Additionally, the anonymous delivery sent a black bag that contained many of my personal items, including about $40. The black bag sent to me anonymously was the same bag I used in 2003 to keep all of my materials related to the curriculum proposal I had made back in 2003. I turned, all the set, I turned all the second anonymous delivery over to the police. As it appears, the bag and materials were taken from my classroom. Perhaps some of you know that one of my former cop, excuse me, perhaps some of you know that one of your former colleagues has been talking to me. And he even has called my house. Your former, your former member shared many enlightening things with me and indicated the board should certainly, uh, and indicated the board should know certain information. On January 14, 2009, my attorney subpoenaed from the board, Mr. Short and the board's attorney, all the materials from my classroom so that my attorney could look at them and see what had happened, what had been in inventory from my classroom after I was locked out of my classroom beginning June 20th, 2008. The board's attorney indicated to my attorney that the board did not have anything from my classroom. Testimony by other teachers revealed the contents of my classroom had been cleaned out, boxed, or moved to an open area uh, by the back of the stairs at the middle school known to, to teachers to be the rat hole. Teacher's testimony revealed the contents of my room stayed for some time in the rat hole with open access to anybody who could take things or put things into the area. Fast forward one year later, after my attorney subpoenaed the contents from my room on January 14, 2010, both Mr. Short and I received an anonymous letter, each containing five pictures. The pictures contained images of items that exonerated some of the charges against me. On January 15, 2010, my attorney listened to the board's attorney and learned that Mr. Short went to look at the items taken from my room to see if the items contained in the photographs from the anonymous letter were with the items kept by Mr. Short. My attorney was very surprised to learn Mr. Short had kept anything from my classroom and my attorney demanded an immediate public records inspection. I went to the inspection and learned Mr. Short had actually kept enough items from my classroom, the amount of which would completely fill the back of the truck. Can you just give us a copy of that since your time is up? It's up to you. Can I read the last paragraph? It's in it's only three sentences. Is that fine? That's all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to. I'm not here to cut. 